This is the era of business intelligence analytics and Power BI is leading that. You want to learn Power BI? This is the channel for you. Beginner series, 200 plus videos, advanced series, 100 plus videos. And if you are absolute beginner, don't know anything in Power BI, then start with four live videos. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series. And in today's video, we are going to discuss one more Power Query function that is table dot profile now what's that table dot profile function is so first of all table dot profile functions returns the profile for the column and following information it returns whichever is applicable min max average standard deviation, deviation count null count distinct count now what does it take table dot profile takes table optional additional aggregation null able as list a really interesting function and we want to like to use it what does it gives now let's jump out of the power bi and in power bi i would like to go to the power query so under the home tab transform data transform data will take me to power query in the power query studio let me first look at the one of the tables which i have let's look at this table two i have a table two which is having this number this b and this dates i have few other tables but let's begin with the table two and then we will extend our thing so now I would like to create this function um, or use this function. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to under home tab, new source blank query. And in that blank query, let me call it as profile. And let me right click and open the advanced editor. And in the open or advanced editor, I'm going to say table dot profile. And I got the function. And in this function, let me pass table two. I pass the table to, I don't want to do anything else right now. So I just return it and you see it returns me the column name. The minimum value is one. The maximum value is four. The average is 2.5. The standard deviation is 2.9. The count is four. The null count is zero. The distinct count is four. And similarly, I have the column B, which is minimum is A, max is D. Text for the text, it is also applicable. Average is not applicable. Standard deviation is not applicable. Count is applicable four. Null count is applicable zero. Testing count is applicable four and CD similar way. Now this really sound interesting and this might be reminding you something. Something which we know where to do. Now let's jump onto the view here. And if you remember, we have a column profile here and this is the very similar thing which it was giving us if you remember when we used to click count error is empty distinct unique and zero min max average and if i click on a different column it make me give me different counts so this is the similar functionality now inside your hands but once you convert this into a table you can actually analyze it and the good thing is not this you can append to such tables isn't it table dot combine and because it's going to be the same table table profile isn't it so table dot combine table profile of table two comma table profile of table one and let me see them together but let's see what happened Yeah, table dot combine requires hold on let's open this advanced editor table dot profile we need two tables as a list and let's try that out see now the problem with this one is basically you don't know from which table it belongs to so for that what you can do you can add now there is a function we have taught you table dot add column add the table name in the columns and then analyze it okay but this seems really interesting function do we simply want to you know do the testing on a test data so i said okay why only to test on a test data why can't i bring in some data from my files which i'm using for daily analysis let me bring in something so let me see are they available in the recent sources so recent sources i have this sales data used in video and this is one of the common files which i use and i have interesting tables like sales and item which i would like to analyze or one of them I can analyze let's see and I say okay and let me add these tables now once I add these table and when you add the tables from power query you're going to get that now let's look at this table which is sales table 
uh, it is showing thousand row and if you go to the profiling it's going to show profiling based on that now what we are going to do is we are going to bring in new source now i can go ahead and change there but i can i'll bring the new source here again i'll in this query i'm going to write down table dot profile and this time i want the profile of my sales table and let me say done and let me rub, double click and rename it sales profile now somebody ask you can you give me the profile of your table as a table i think maybe your answer was no but that's not now because you know you have a function which can give you the table profile and you can create a table from that and now go ahead and create all such set of you know tables inside one table and do that okay so now we have this table profile okay so now this is the table profile of the sales table can we add a column here so let's see and we might have to go back and refer to the syntax table dot add column and we give the sales table comma the new column name as text and we give the uh, name as let's say table name and column generator function we need to be careful let's write down let's write down table one okay so function is not correct let's see add columns we have to see the table dot add columns function let's look at the system let's look at the function table dot add column and see how can we get that so we give table dot add column and then we need to write down each or something formula like this let's write down each we got it now in the end or somewhere we should see a column table name let's look at what is happening here advanced editor plus first without profile let's put this thing so we got this table and the table we got the table name now let's go advanced editor table dot profile we have we got the table name also here now but this is not going to help because we don't need the table name here isn't it we need the table name after the profile so we don't need here so what we are going to do is let me edit it and tell you how do i want it so advanced editor i don't need table name here i want to just do the profiling of the table here first and then in the profiling i want to add so table dot add column name i'm going to go here and then this entire stuff i don't want to do inside the profile i want to do after the profile has been taken so let's do now let's see do we get the additional column table name table one now the table name is not table one the table name is sales so we now got the profile of the sales table here now we got the profile of the sales table now you would have understood why i'm doing all this stuff and trying to give you this because i want to append these two and for that i need list of so let me do a little bit of say t1 t1 comma t2 and table dot add columns this time i'm going to give you here item and i'm also going to take item table here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to combine these two table and this time i'm going to give the name source so in the source i'm going to combine these two tables which is table dot combine and i need list of tables which is t1 and t2 i need to be a little bit careful if it might match the names so let me do this thing local will be given preference so here you go you have both the tables profile coming one place together along with the table name now analyze your tables now we'll put this into the dax or we'll 
you know close and apply and we have the data to be analyzed about the metadata of our own tables the profiles of the tables is available with us what is the minimum value max value average value standard deviation count count listing any other function supported you can apply this so now there is a beautiful visualization which you can go ahead and create on those close and apply So we have so many tables let's look at where is our profile table is we have so many tables in this one isn't it profile should be separate out this is our table so what was the second table name sales profile this is no more sales profile but let's bring in table name and the table with the count what is the count of these two table look at this 30,000 and 440 that's the count of our rows okay and let's go and look what is happening here i looked item table count looks a little bit bigger let's look at this item table count 55 rows this is 30000 what happened here oh because each row is giving so we have to also say don't summarize 55 and 30,000 now the rows each number of columns are going to sum up okay so you need to be a little bit careful okay and then I don't think we are interested but distinct count is something which you might be interested in but the distinct count is of columns so you need to bring in column here okay so now you know how can you analyze the profile data of your table so go ahead and try that out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.